<coughs> Don't look at me funny. I gotta have full concentration. You can tell I'm a professional. You know. I don't want to mess this up. All right, Fire Guy 24 here. I'm at Smoke and Crow Vapor Shop in Crossroads, which is near Denton. All right, so everybody wanted me to do a beginner's video for vaping, and that's what I'm here to do. I was going to do it from my house and show you some of the stuff that I've got, but I figured, hey, why don't I contact the store and ask them if I could use some of their display items and uh, put them in my video so that I can give you all a better perspective of everything that's available. So usually, when I'm making videos, or when I'm out riding, you guys see me with this setup right here. And this is kind of a, kind of an advanced setup. Everybody asks me what they should use to start out with. Um, what I have here is a kit based off of the Ego. Uh, Ego makes a battery that looks like this. And they make several versions of it. They make a version that twists at the bottom, like this one, and you can select your voltages. Basically, the more volts you get, the higher of an ohm tip you can use, and we'll get to that later. But this one's a variable voltage to where this one may not, or it could be the kind that you fiddle with the button, and it's got two different settings on it. But uh, this is a nice starter kit for $44. This is what you would call a top coil atomizer tank. Sometimes it's a dual coil in there. There's two different coils. Sometimes it's just one coil. But the way that works is when you put your juice in this reservoir, these wicks soak up the juice into the coil. And that coil in there basically just heats up and it vaporizes that juice. And that's how you get your vapor. So for 50 bucks, you can get yourself started. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Don't go to the gas station and just buy whatever shit they have. Go to a good vape store and ask around because if you get some bullshit from a gas station it may look the same uh, but it's not and those little blue cigarettes those are shit don't even start with those um, spend the money and, and get something good if you want to quit smoking or if you want to just get into it for the hell of it like I did so that's the starter kit this as I was saying is an ego twist style battery I just talked to the owner this is branded uh, smoking crow you can see he works directly with the factor, factory that makes these, and uh, this Smoke and Crow is an actual special branded item. It's not crap inside, basically, so you know when it's got that symbol on it, uh, it's good stuff. And at the bottom here, you can see it has a voltage reading, and as you turn this dial, you can up or down the voltage. And the way you charge these is with this charger here. You basically just screw it into the end and you plug it in any USB into the wall or into your computer or whatever. And uh, this button here, the, the way most of these work is if you hit it five times, it'll power on. And if you hit it five more times, it'll power off. Uh, some of these dual voltage ones, you hold it down for like eight seconds and it'll flash one color and it's on one voltage and you hold it down for eight seconds it'll flash another color and then it'll do another voltage so that's how those work um, inside this tank also there's this coil I was talking about there's an extra coil in this kit and those coils have varying ohms basically the ohms is if you literally take a voltmeter across that coil it'll tell you how many ohms it is the more ohms it is the more voltage you could put to it and I'm going to get a chart over here. This chart here, you can look this up online and find these. Basically, if you don't know anything about it, you can look up whatever ohm tip you have and how much voltage you could supply to it. If you put too much voltage, it'll burn the coil out prematurely. If you put too less of voltage, you're not going to get a very satisfying vape. So you just kind of find what you like. Alright, so we're going to move on from that to talk about mods. And basically, a mod just does a little bit more than a regular battery would. And I guess you could call this a mod because you have variable voltage on it. But there's two different uh, 
there's two different things you can do to adjust the flow of electricity to your coil. Uh, you can adjust it by voltage or you can adjust it by wattage. Uh, this one is set up to where it does wattage. Uh, this one's set up to do voltage. Uh, this one's actually set up to do both. Some of them you can change from wattage to voltage, depending on what you prefer. Uh, basically, you're just increasing or decreasing the power. Uh, one thing that all these have in common is they have what they call a, a 510 connection. The 510 connection basically just means the inner threads and outer threads are of one certain kind to where no matter what you use, whether it's an atomizer or carbonizer or any of that stuff, rebuildable, it's all going to screw on because that's a 510. So it's going to fit anything. Um, without getting too in-depth uh, with all these different kind of mods, basically you can get them with different size batteries and the batteries are measured in ma which is mah milliamp hours which is just basically how long the battery is going to last and uh this one also has one of these 18650 is what they call it there's a lot of numbers in all this and that's why it gets confusing but basically this one holds a rechargeable battery that's pretty large it's going to last a long time it's uh wattage selectable it's got the 510 connection there's also these things called thread caps uh, this thread cap is just made for this device but when you buy uh, different tanks atomizers carbonizers uh, they'll usually come with a thread cap and what that basically does is on some of your simpler batteries it basically takes up the space in here and just kind of makes it flow a little better. So uh, thread caps is one little accessory. Also they have tips. Uh, these tips have o-rings around them. So you could change the tips out. Uh, here's a basic black tip. This one's kind of fancier. But they just fit in with an o-ring. Uh, some of the tanks, you can't change the tip, like this tank. Um, but some of them you can, so just be aware of that. Um, there's two different kinds of coils, basically. Uh, I guess you could say there's really four, but we'll get to that later. This is a uh, this is an atomizer, and basically what that means is there's a little tiny wick in there, and the coils are wrapped around the wick, and that's what they call an atomizer. This is what they call a cartomizer. And the difference is a cartomizer has the tank as well, um, but this entire cylinder inside here is packed with uh, like a, a cotton material, and the wick is inside that cotton material, and or sorry, the coil is inside that cotton material, and basically the way this works is the juice soaks in through a little tiny hole in the bottom here and it basically floods that cotton inside there with juice. So it makes it very difficult to change flavors, whereas an atomizer, you can just pour the juice out and put a different flavor in, and two puffs later, you got a different flavor. These are basically impossible to change the flavors, and I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you'd have to like soak it in alcohol to get all the old juice out, and then you've got to prime them a certain way with, uh, with drops of liquid so that you don't get air trapped in there because if you get any air in there then the wick start or the coil starts burning the cotton in there and it tastes like shit so these I wouldn't really recommend personally but some people are into them that's what they use um, now as far as these atomizers there's a bottom coil atomizer or bottom tank atomizer and there's a top tank atomizer and uh, all the top tank atomizers have the wicks in them that soak the juice up to the top and the coils in the top and all the bottom atomizers have the coil in the bottom so if you're laying in bed and you're puffing on this thing and all your juice has flowed to the top of the tank uh, you may start getting dry hits and it's going to taste like shit so it's good to be aware of where your coil is in your tank uh, my wife uses a top tank 
or the top coil uh, with the wick. She lays in bed a lot with it, and um, it seems to be working good for her. So that's a good option to have. Um, the way these coils work in these atomizers, let me take one apart here, is they're replaceable. Um, that's your little tiny wick there, and they come in different ohm sizes as I covered before. And you just replace that little part when it burns out, because, you know, it, it's a heating element, it's going to burn out eventually. And uh, you put it back together and you're good to go. Uh, to fill it with juice, all the tanks feel a little bit different, but basically you just pour the juice in there and you try not to get any down the middle, because there's a hole through the middle and it'll pour out on your hand. Now, let's talk about these juices. Um, they have like hundreds of flavors, literally, like 300 flavors of juice. Um, everybody's got a different take on certain things, they call it different things, but um, They've got everything from Coca-Cola to candy to desserts, uh, beverages, uh, can't, they got it all. Um, they got a lot of tobacco flavors, which I don't really like. I don't really like the taste of tobacco. Um, I've been using sweet tarts a lot. And there's two different options you can have with your juices. It's just the size of the bottle and how much nicotine it has. You can run no nicotine in your uh, liquid, and it doesn't have as much of a hit to me. Uh, when you put the nicotine in it, it gives it more of like what they call a throat hit. And uh, it's like drinking a Coke with no carbonation, basically, to me, without any nicotine. So I started running nicotine just for the taste, basically. Alright, so the one thing about this industry is it's been growing like wildfire over the last five years. It's one of the most fastest growing industries in the United States right now. Um, the stores are popping up all over. Uh, everything's so new, it's very confusing. There's a lot of numbers involved. Uh, it's kind of why I made this video to uh, show a good start point for everybody and familiarize everybody with all the terms and uh, what's what. So uh, just do your research on it. Uh, look up reviews and that kind of thing and get familiarized with everything before you buy it because there's a lot of crap out there and there's a lot of good stuff out there and uh, it's kind of hard to get a gauge of what's what right now because everything's so new and stuff comes out so fast. Uh, this tank here that I use is called a Kanger Pro Tank and there's three versions of this now within like the last year. Uh, the first version, you couldn't replace the glass if you broke it. The second version, you could replace the glass. And the third version has a dual coil in it, so it'll handle the uh, voltage better because it distributes it across two coils instead of just one. So uh, that's usually what I run is the Kanger Pro Tank with this 134. This is a high taste 134. You guys moved everything. And the other one that I use a lot is the well, I, came to get that I Taste MVP, that it's a box. And what's cool right, about right. that one well, is you can charge your cell phone from it if you wanted to. It's yeah. got a really big battery in it. Um, Alright, so as I said in the beginning of the video, we're over here at uh, Smoke and Crow. And uh, I'm going to take you through a quick tour of their display case of all the products that are available right now. And uh, kind of explain some of the things. I didn't want to get them all out here on the table because I'm sure they don't want me to have thousands of dollars worth of merchandise floating around here in the store. But I can take you a quick pass through the uh, display case and uh, explain everything so when you walk in the store you're not uh, overwhelmed with everything. Come on, you don't want to be on the camera? Come on, do it. Say welcome to smoking. <laughs> So 
So in a lot of these stores, they have um, taste testing sections for all the different juices. They have all the bottles of juices here, and some stores will give you what they call a drip tip, and that's something I didn't cover, but basically you put little drops of juice in it, and it's good for like five or six puffs, and then you could clean it out with alcohol and start over again. Uh, not a lot of people use the drip tips, but they've actually got uh, atomizers in here, so they'll loan you a battery, and there's an atomizer for every single flavor, and you just basically screw it on your battery, and uh, you stick a tip in there that they've sanitized for you, and you could try any flavor you want before you buy it. So this place is set up with the atomizers, which is really handy, because you can just kind of walk around and try them out. And then some places have those drip tips, and that's a little more of a process to do because you have to uh, clean them out every time or else you get that kind of cross taste of all the different flavors. All right, so starting here at the end of the case, uh, we got a few different mods here. These are the various batteries that each mod takes. Uh, there's a lot of different mods. Everybody and their brother makes one. Uh, there's the 134 iTaste that I have. That's the new iTaste VTR. And there's also the iTaste MVP, which is the one that I usually use that's shaped like a box. Um, these are what you call rebuildable atomizers, or RBAs. Um, basically, the hardware in the top is made so you can build your own coils. And you can get pretty fancy with them. Uh, when you see guys just blowing like huge clouds of vapor like a freight train, that's usually what they're using. Um, these are some simple mods, different styles, button on the side kind of thing. Um, over here is some atomizer tanks, all different kinds. There's the uh, Kanger tank that I use, and they've got several different uh, versions of it, as I said. Moving on down, got a bunch of different shaped batteries here. Uh, they got cases for them, they got lanyards for them, they got stands for them. All these here are all different kinds of atomizers. Top coil, bottom coil, these are your more basic uh, Joytec style batteries here. All shapes, sizes, colors, uh, different milliamp hours. You see some of them are fatter or longer than others. And uh, moving on down, we got your starter kits. They've even got little jewels you can put on them for the ladies. All the different uh, tips you can buy. And more uh, little sheaths. Some people wear them around their neck. Uh, so you don't have to put it in your pocket every time. Here's some cases. I don't have a case, but uh, I guess it'd be good to have. I just throw everything in my backpack. And then these are all the replaceable parts. Um, these are cardamizer coils. Uh, there's atomizer coils in here. The reason there's so many is because they're all different uh, styles, all different... Uh, all different styles, all different ohms. And uh, down here is different chargers for everything. So when you come into a store, basically, uh, it's a lot of stuff to look at. I would start with the basic stuff, and then as you get interested in other devices, you can just look them up on the internet and uh, find out what you want to try next. You'll have fun out there. All right, this has been FireGuy24 uh, for the much-awaited vape video. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on one wheel.